Good evening. Welcome to CBS Bulldog.com. Warm afternoon in low 80s, but some cloud cover. 76 now. Sprinkles there in DC 69. 59 had some rain earlier in Oakland and 78 up in Westminster. So just a few light sprinkles across the region. As you can see, most of them passing north of the region. A little batch here, maybe in West Virginia, could get to us this evening, but the rain extremely light if it even reaches the ground. And you see what's causing it. High pressure southwest of us, but a front across Pennsylvania and New York and Ohio pressing across the region. But the bulk of the rain you see moving up toward New York, northern Jersey, and the Poconos of Pennsylvania. We're in the very southern edge of this, so we may see a brief sprinkle. That's about all we're expecting out of this particular system. But there's more rain headed away as we head into the latter part of the weekend. As high pressure still builds, we'll see partly sunny skies tomorrow, but warm temps again into the low, even some mid 80 in some locations. By the time we read slate, Saturday, some showers south of west of us. On Sunday, a good chance of some showers in the morning and again in the afternoon. As you can see, that front across the region. Sunday night, even some more rain expected. And by Monday, what's left of Nate will be a, uh, what we'll call it a remnant low moving through the Ohio Valley. Moving with it with rain on Monday afternoon. Could see maybe an inch or more of rain, heavier amounts expected to the west of us, but we could still see a nice drought busting rain. Meanwhile, Nate has winds of just 40. It's a small storm causing a lot of rain in Honduras and Nicaragua. Eventually, It'll be a Category 1 storm by Saturday into the Gulf, but by the time it reaches Louisiana, Mississippi area, right around really Biloxi, New Orleans, winds down to 60, and then it continues to head off inland away from the warm water, so it'll weaken quickly, but it'll bring the tropical rains up across the Ohio Valley. It could be some heavier rains than Tennessee and maybe Ohio, southern portion of Indiana. And the mountains of West Virginia, if you get two or three inches of rain with those mountains, you can probably see some flooding there. For our region, an inch or so of rain is possible. By the time we reach Tuesday, it's past us. Wind's only down to 25. So it is going to move. The, uh, you see how fast it's going to move from Sunday to Monday. We're talking 30, 40 miles an hour. So it will not rain for a long time here, but we're going to get some decent rain out of this system that really will break the, the dry spell we've had for the last two and a half weeks. No advisory. South winds only five knots in the bay tonight. Then part of cloudy, maybe a sprinkle this evening. Otherwise, mild low of 60 tomorrow, back up to 83. A mixture of the sun and clouds. High is normally 70. Look at these temperatures 83 on Saturday. Some showers possible Sunday, 81. A good chance Monday into Tuesday, 79. Mid 80s possible on Tuesday with the winds generally out of the south, and then it'll get a little cooler by the middle of next week. Could be a little disturbed weather too, as well. Could see some more showers, and boy, we need them right now. Have an update look at the forecast in the tropics late tonight.